Okay, we're continuing our football club history series. We're going north of the border to Scotland. We're going to North East Scotland to be more precise. And we're looking at Aberdeen Football Club. Now, they're formed way back in 1903 as a merger of three clubs in the city, including the original Aberdeen Football Club, uh, Victoria United Football Club and Orion Football Club. They merged together in 1903 to form the modern-day Aberdeen Football Club. They move into Pataudry in 1903. The current seating capacity of Pataudry is 20,866, and they've been in the Scottish top flight since 1905 when they gained promotion to the top flight, have never been relegated out of the Scottish top flight since... Fun fact about Pataudry, it's the first all-seater stadium and the first stadium to ever have a, a dugout. So, there you go. And there's a little fun fact about Pataudry. They have actually won a fair bit of silverware. They haven't won some silverware for a while, but in, in the 80s they were a very, very good side. In fact, they have 19 major trophies to their credit. Most of them come in the, the 80s. They are the last Scottish side to lift European silverware. They're the only Scottish side to have two European trophies, and they are the last club to win the Scottish League that's not called Rangers or Celtic. So there we go. And let's delve into their success. So, the Scottish League title, which would now be the SPL, obviously, they first win it in the 1954-55 season. So it takes them a good, you know, 50-odd years to win their first league title from entering the top flight. They don't win it again until the 79-80 season. Then they win it in the 83-84 and the 84-85 seasons back-to-back. So, bearing in mind how dominant Rangers and Celtic are in the Scottish League system, to win, you know, three trophies, uh, three leagues in, in five seasons is, is not, not bad going. The Scottish Cup, they've had a lot more success. They've only got four Scottish League titles, but the Scottish Cup, they have seven in total. Uh, they first win it just after World War II in the 1946-47 season, and then there's a bit of a gap until the 1969-70 season. And then there's a significant gap. Now, this is where they are a very good side domestically in Scotland. Uh, They win it for the third time in the 81-82 season, the 82-83 season, the 83-84 season. They win it three uh, three seasons in a row. Then they win it again into Alex Ferguson's final season uh, in charge, uh, but in the 85-86 season. And they last win the Scottish Cup in the 89-90 season. So they do win silverware after Sir Alex Ferguson moves on to Manchester United. How different it could have been if Fergie stayed at Aberdeen for a little bit longer and how less dominant would Man United have been had he stayed in Aberdeen. So Sir Alex Ferguson leaving Aberdeen and going to Man United does have a massive impact on both leagues. The Scottish League Cup, they've won six times. Uh, They first win it in the 55-56 season, so that is their second ever trophy. They win it again in the 76-77 season. Uh, They win it again in the 85-86 season. Again, that's a cup double that year. They win it again in the 89-90 season. The 95-96 season, and the most recent piece of silverware they won was actually the Scottish League Cup in the 2013-2014 season. And that is their last piece of silverware. Talking about European success, and and this is where they they are the last Scottish club to win anything in Europe. They win the Cup Winners' Cup, the old Cup Winners' Cup in the 82-83 season. Their finest hour, I personally believe. And they win the UEFA Super Cup in the 1983, just before the 83-84 season. So you can see the massive impact Sir Alex Ferguson had on this club in his early managerial days before he goes to Manchester United and, and look what he did with them with 13 league titles. So... Just imagine how different Scottish football could have been and how possibly they could have challenged uh, Celtic and Rangers for more league and cup silverware uh, north of the border. So there we go. There's a brief history of Aberdeen Football Club. Look, the 80s, they were a pretty good side. They really gave it to Rangers and Celtic. Uh, They really ruffled the feathers and and they were the last uh, club in Scotland to win the league who was not Celtic or Rangers. So that is how long Celtic and Rangers have been dominating Scottish football since... 1985-86 1985-86 the, the, the league title has either been Celtic or Rangers so Aberdeen did have an imprint on Scottish football um, they were very dominant in the cup competitions especially the Scottish Cup in that the 1980s that was their decade and that was their purple patch they've only won two trophies um, since 1995 which is a shame they've been runners up many times in the Scottish league system but they haven't quite taken that next step when they had the opportunity to do so um, in more recent times. But fantastic history and 
look, they've got 19 major trophies to their name. Uh, unfortunately, obviously, Rangers and Celtic dominating has made the Scottish League a bit uncompetitive, which is a shame. But just imagine how different it would be if, if Alex Ferguson had stayed at Aberdeen a few more years, or maybe had stayed at Aberdeen maybe a decade longer before going to Man United. How different, you know, um, Scottish football and English football could have been. Um, obviously, we know how dominant Man United were, especially in the 90s and the 2000s, and so Alex Ferguson with all those league titles. How different it could have been. But there we go, Aberdeen. They do have a fantastic history. Success has been much harder to come by in more recent times. Only three trophies, only f- yeah, only four trophies in my lifetime, and uh, only, only only two in more recent memory. So it has been a bit of a dry spell, but the eighties was their decade. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching. Please place your thoughts in the comment section below, and I'll have some more content for you very very soon.